Hello, Connecticut. So happy to be able to join you virtually uh, today um, here on the eve of uh, the 60th anniversary March on Washington, uh, continuing the great legacy and march set forth by Martin Luther King Jr., the uh, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and many, many others in the democratic labor and uh, people's movement. Um, and that's why I'm not <laughs> here with you today. Uh, well, I'm in DC with the party uh, and YCL delegation from around the country. I sure enough wish I was there with you. Um, I'm there in spirit and uh, you can be darn sure that uh, that's the case. Uh, I wanna bring greetings from our national board and uh, national uh, committee. We are so encouraged by the work and growth of the party and YCL in Connecticut. We were just with some of your comrades uh, last weekend in uh, Chicago at the uh, Labor uh, Commission meeting and, and uh, your delegation represented you well. Uh, no, no doubt about that. Um, I'm sure that uh, your day long conference is gonna be full of rich discussion Looking forward, I hope you record it. Looking forward to hearing about it uh, from Jamal and uh, Lisa, along with uh, comrades uh, Brian and Joel. Um, I'm sure you're going to have a very interesting and provocative um, and meaningful discussion, which will help you chart the course of the party um, in the coming days and months as we approach our convention. Happy to let you know that our, our convention is taking place June 7th, 8th, and 9th at Roosevelt University in Chicago. Um, and I know you're going to have a big, bad, and bodacious <laughs> delegation from Connecticut. You always, you always do. We count on that. Uh, we really count on it, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, there. But we got a rather long road to hoe uh, between now and con uh, that convention. Um, you know, the struggles are very important and in some respects very sh sharp. The attack on democracy from the far right is vicious, ongoing, um, and uh, and we are responding. You know, and we ain't taking it laying down. Uh, you know that Mr. Trump uh, was arraigned yesterday in uh, uh, Georgia, as he should have been. Uh, but Trump is just the tip of a huge iceberg of far-right, racist, fascist, sexist, uh, homophobic, anti-immigrant uh, movement uh, in this country that's being promoted and, and organized by uh, big business. And uh, while they're going after the head of it, Trump, the, the forces behind it are big business and they're going after abortion rights, as you know, and they're going after voting rights, as you know, and they're going after your right to health care, and they got rid of uh, your right to uh, the child tax credit and and the right to collectively bargain and, and organize. Uh, they, 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 they went after the uh, student debt you know, the president and his vice president, uh, Mr. Biden and Vice President Harris and the Democratic majority in uh, Congress as a result of the uh, people's movement. And I believe one of the representatives uh, from Connecticut 
Delora, is that her name? Passed passed that child tax credit, which brought millions of children out of poverty. And 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 do you know what they did? They took it away and they gave it to the military budget. Trillion dollars now being spent, you know. Uh, that exact amount of money, or very close to it, I don't think I'm exaggerating, but was applied over and above what uh, the uh, president uh, wanted to give to the Defense Department for the military budget, which was too much from Jump Street. It was way too much, you know, uh, and, uh, and 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 that's a crime. And 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 they added uh, insult to uh, that injury. And so it's really important for us as we uh, walk down the path to the convention uh, to engage in all of the big struggles that are taking place uh, in this country. Uh, and there are class struggles that are taking place in the uh, trade union movement. You know, the Teamsters just won a big victory. Hallelujah. They got, uh, they, they passed uh, that contract by something like 85%. Uh, percent. They got rid of the two-tier wages for full-timers and so on and so forth. Yeah, there's some work that still needs to be done, but nevertheless, that was a big victory. And now the auto workers, I believe on the 14th of September, that contract is going to be up. Uh, and they, too, have a two-tier wage system that they're trying to get rid of, and, and they're... Uh, asking for a 40% raise. And, uh, and you know, those younger workers, you know, they were they were making, you know, $15, $20 an hour against older workers who were making $45, $50 an hour, you know, making super profits off of the labor of uh, younger workers. And, and they got to build labor youth unity um, on the picket line. And in order to strengthen their ranks and and compel, and that's what they're going to have to do, compel a contract that's worth voting on from the big three auto corporations. I heard tell that the president of the uh, UAW said that contract that they offered the first opening bid, he said it wasn't worth the paper it was written on, and they took the god darn thing and he threw it in the trash. <laughs> and uh, and uh, so they're not playing, and and neither should we. We got to do a lot of strike support. Uh, should they go out on strike, and we got to uh, vocally express our solidarity as we prepare for it, just like we did with the uh, UPS uh, workers. Um, and then there's going to be a lot of voter registration, a lot of voter education. Uh, as we uh, proceed on the path uh, towards our convention and uh, next year's election. This pre-convention period between now and June of 2024 uh, has to be built in struggle. And we know y'all going to do that in uh, Connecticut. Our party has to play a particular role in this fight. We have to fight to unify the party. Uh, we have to fight to unify the uh, working class by taking up the issues that are in front of the class as a whole, not just one section of it, but the class as a whole. That means we've got to fight for ab abortion rights. we got to fight for immigrant rights. we got to fight for uh, rights of the African-American and Latino Asian uh, peoples We've got to fight for LGBTQ rights. They're going after trans rights like nobody's business, trying to single out people for who they are and who they want to be. We're not going to accept it. Um, and, 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 and it's only by doing that, by taking up the special interests of each, that we can unite the, the, the class as a whole, you know? We can unite the, the, the class as a whole, you know? And that whole is greater, as they say, than its uh, parts. And that unified whole 
it's going to be a hell of a force to be reckoned with come November 2024 uh, as we work to defeat the fascist danger. And that's exactly what it is coming from the extreme right and the MAGA movement led by Donald Trump himself, backed by big, big business. So listen, comrades, have a great week and uh, have a great meeting. I understand that uh, y'all going to be marching to a, a go back to school picnic at the end of the uh, meeting. Uh, you're marching in step with us in D.C. Uh, you're marching uh, to the drumbeat of justice and to the drumbeat of peace and uh, to the drumbeat of freedom uh, represented uh, and spoken so eloquently by Martin Luther King Jr. back in 1963. And, and, and that drumbeat is echoed through the decades and it's echoing from the streets of Washington all the way up through to the People's Center in New Haven, Connecticut. Take care, comrades. Have a great meeting and we'll see you down the road. Uh, take care and thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk with you uh, this morning. Wish I was there, but once again, both Rosanna and I uh, and our entire leadership are there with you uh, in spirit. Bye now.